news. Today's news. Hurricane pounds Western Florida. 12 to 16 feet of storm surge is what you're getting there. That's almost a two-story house. Vidalia called life-threatening. Do not go outside in the midst of this storm. Targeting cybercrime. The FBI called it Operation Duck Hunt. Good morning, I'm Steve Kathan with the CBS World News Roundup. Hurricane Idalia crashing ashore in northwest Florida. It made landfall about two hours ago near Keaton Beach, Florida. CBS News meteorologist David Parkinson says it's dangerous. Idalia has an unsurvivable storm surge, 12 to 16 feet in the Big Bend area. The reason, because if you look at a map of Florida where you connect the main part of Florida with the panhandle, it looks like one big elbow and all the water's getting pushed and funneled into there. It's got nowhere to go, so it's going on to land. The storm has been called life-threatening. It hit as a Category 3 with winds topping out at 125 miles an hour. Extensive flooding and power outages are likely. Governor Ron DeSantis. Wherever you are, uh, hunker down and, and don't take anything for granted here. This is a very, very powerful storm. CBS's Christian Benavides is in Crystal River, Florida. What's happening here now is that from time to time we'll get feeder bands. And when the feeder bands come in, that's when we'll get heavy rain and a strong winds. The main concern here is the potential for life-threatening storm surge. And what was forecasted by the National Weather Service is 7 to 12 feet. There are homes around here that are at sea level. And so officials did make those warnings, letting people know that, hey, listen, they, they need to get to higher ground. Correspondent Omar Villafranca. Nearly half of Florida's 67 counties were under some type of evacuation order Tuesday, including parts of Citrus County. Huh? Sheriff Mike Prendergrass urged residents in flood zones to leave. If you don't get out of the mandatory evacuation zone and you get in trouble later on, don't expect me to send my deputies out there because I want my deputies to go home to their families after the storm passes. Amanda Chilcott, Dirk Randolph, and their 12-year-old dog Lucy decided not to ride out the hurricane at their Crystal River home. We spoke to them as they packed up their car. When you get out of here, you, you live to see another day. You stay here, you, you never know what's going to happen. It's Mother Nature. Meteorologist Mike Seidel of the Weather Channel. Surge here has set a record at the old Tampa Bay gauge now. We're up at 4.16 feet, beating the previous record by about a half a foot, so it's still coming up. The mayor of Tampa is urging people to heed those warnings. We've got the hurricane warning, the storm surge warning for four to six feet, and one of the hardest hit areas will be up the coast in Cedar Key. That uh, little spit of land only has an elevation of about 10 feet, and the surge could get that high later on this morning. The worst surge in the Big Bend, up to 16 feet, that's going to be catastrophic. Now to Hawaii, where the search for wildfire victims is just about over. We have that last remaining 1% was the ocean. We have four miles that the FBI is going out right now, and they're going to go 200 yards out. Maui Police Chief John Pelletier says the known death toll is 115. An unknown number are still missing. Due to an unspecified emergency, there will not be a sentencing today for Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio for his role in orchestrating the Capitol attack. Legal analyst Thane Rosenbaum says when it does happen, he could get the harshest sentence yet. The leader of the Oath Keepers has already been sentenced after having been found guilty of committing the same crime, seditious conspiracy. He received an 18-year prison sentence. The government is now seeking a 33-year sentence for the leader of the Proud Boys. A makeshift memorial is getting bigger at the base of a bell tower in Chapel Hill on the University of North Carolina campus where the faculty member shot and killed this week. A 34-year-old grad student is charged with the crime. The motive is not clear. Four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 63 degrees.